Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. It's me, Rachel, and I didn't film an intro for this video because I'm a shitty person. Um, so that's what this is. I keep doing this. I'm fucking annoying. Anyways, today I'm doing a easy makeup tutorial like for beginners or people that really don't know how to do makeup or like just anyone because i've been wearing makeup for literally so long and i was shit at it until like six months ago so yeah that's this video i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did give it a thumbs up and also subscribe and let's get started okay so hi guys i have no makeup on this is the base this is starting off point so before I do my makeup, usually in the morning time or before I go to bed, I will always apply moisturizer to my face because I have fucking dry skin, especially in the winter. It's so bad. So this is clean and clear dual action moisturizer. And then the next step is the literally most important step. If you buy anything from this video that I recommend you buy this fucking shit right here. This is literally the Burt's Bees lip balm. It's like $3.00. And vanilla bean, this is my favorite one, but any will do. This is the best lip balm. I don't give a shit. I've been using this for literally two years. It's so good. This is crucial. Even if I don't wear makeup, I always am wearing this. I literally have six Burt's Bees lip balms, so I have them in all my bags, my coat, all over my room, everything. Love this, so just please, please buy this. So, next step is foundation so the foundation i use is the fenty beauty but if you don't have the money for this or you don't want to spend fucking 40 dollars on a foundation then the fit me by maybelline fit me foundation is literally so good i've been using it for like three years i started wearing makeup when i was like 11 or 12 and i'm turning 17 next month so i've been using that foundation a lot for a long time and it's really good but this is the foundation i've been using for the past few months and i just pump a few pumps on the back of my hand and then I always start on my cheeks because that is my problem area I guess you could say because I usually just wear foundation because I don't really have much acne I don't break out that often but I like to cover up most of my freckles because I hate my freckles I'm really just I hate them so much um and also my redness because I get really bad red cheeks. So I'm using a fake beauty blender sponge because who the hell wants to spend literally like $25 on a, a sponge? Like, no thank you. This one's literally $8 and it works so good. So, yes. So I finished up with my foundation. I just put a light layer on. With this foundation, it's really buildable. So if you want like full coverage, you can just keep adding on top of it. But today, I did pretty like light to medium coverage. So the next step is concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I just got this for Christmas and I'm going to be applying this under my eyes because as you guys can see, I don't fucking sleep because look at those fucking under eyes. Like I literally can't sleep. And then I put it on my eyelids because they're hella veiny and that's just not cute. So I just do it like that. I don't do it like the beauty gurus and do a triangle because that's way too much concealer for me. So I just do like a line and then pat it in. Also, if you don't want to wear foundation, this concealer literally covers up everything. So like this is more full coverage than the foundation. So if you guys don't want to wear foundation, then just get this concealer or like the Tarte Shape Tape is really good. Like a full coverage concealer will do you good. So the next step is powder. I use the Maybelline Fit Me Powder and the Loose Powder for baking. These are the best. I used to use everything Fit Me. I fuck with them still. So this is literally the best baking powder I've used and I've used like Tarte one. I've used a couple different ones but this is literally the best and it's like six dollars or something for this big ass container. So the first thing I do is set all of the rest of my face before I set my under eyes and that's when I bake my face. I really just got into baking a few months ago but I love it. It really changes my makeup game. I'm trying to teach you guys all my tips and tricks that I've literally learned in the past few months because I've been doing makeup 
I think I said early in this video, since I was like 11 or 12 and I'm turning 17 next month, and literally my whole life compared to like the past few months, my makeup has been shit. So, I'm trying to teach you guys, that's what this video is for, makeup for dummies or starters, you know, that's why I got the idea where I was literally doing my makeup and I was like, holy shit, I actually look good now instead of like a fucking crackhead. I'm like, I should do a video and this is the idea. So, I'm taking my beauty blender and dipping it in the powder like that and then placing it under my eyes like that and then on my eyes as well because my eyes get hella oily and they crease and all that nasty shit okay so now i look like a psycho next part after baking i like to do bronzer i like to do highlight too but the baking gets in the way so i wait until i'm done baking but the bronzer I'm using right now is the Too Faced, and I don't know how to fucking contour, like all the Instagram baddies and shit, and all the other YouTubers, so I literally just get an angled brush like this. This is literally a Batman makeup brush, like, um, hello? And then I just literally dust it where you're supposed to bronze. And I think it looks okay. It doesn't look that bad. Also, if I want a more natural look and I don't want to like contour, I take a big brush like this and just go all over my face and it's really natural, but it gives me like a little bit of color, especially since it's fucking winter right now. I literally look like Frosty the Snowman. So next step after bronzer is eyebrows and I just started doing them a new way with new products. So I'm probably gonna do it off camera cause I'm still kind of shit at it. So like I really need to fucking focus. Hey Siri, like literally Alexa play. Oh, what? You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. Shut up. Okay, so I'm taking this on an angled brush and I just dip in it a little bit and then I rub the back of my hand with the rest of it. And then I just go in with light little strokes. Just like that. So my eyebrows are all done. They look a little dark. See, like I'm still trying to work with it, but I'll tell you guys my technique. So I take it, dip it, do it at the back of my hand, and then I get the angled brush and I start with little strokes in the middle to like the beginning of my eyebrow and then work it up to the arch and then get a little bit more and just fill in the front. So it's kind of like ombre, but I don't know if that even looks good, but that's what I'm doing right now. That's how I'm feeling with my eyebrows. Um, I'm gonna watch more videos online to like master this because right now they still look like shit. But next step is removing the bake that's been sitting on our face. So I just sweep it away with my face brush. So the next step after I'm done all of this is I like to do highlighter and the highlighter I am using right now I just got as well and it's the Becca highlighter and vanilla quartz and I just got the mini one but it looks like this it's a white highlighter and I take a elf concealer brush even though I don't know who the fuck would use this for concealer um, and I take it on there get like a fair amount and I do it on my cheekbones my nose and then usually on my inner corner but when I do it in my inner corner I wait till I do like my eyes so I just put a little bit on. I don't even know if you guys can see that. Usually I do it twice because I really like my highlight to show, especially like when the light hits it. And then I take it on the bridge of my nose. And then just on the other cheekbone. Wow. And I also like to put it right here on my temples, like on the side of my eyebrows, and just kind of drag it up a little bit. So there's glow there, and yes, okay, so it looks great. All done the face makeup. So after face makeup, usually I don't really do eyeshadow. Actually, I do, but I change the look all the fucking time. So I'm going to show you guys a simple eye look that I like to do when I'm in a rush or I don't feel like fucking around. So I will take my bronzer the Chocolate Soleil Too Faced Bronzer and I take it on a big fluffy brush and I just lightly work that into my crease just a little bit and just blend it out 
And then I just do the same thing on the other eye. And then after that, I will do the vanilla quartz in my inner corner. It really makes you look awake and like all bright eyed and shit. I don't know. I think it's really pretty. I started doing this after Tana Mojo showed it in her video because her makeup always looks bomb and I just love it. So I just take a little brush like this, pack it on, and then just put it in the inner corner. And I like using the highlight shade instead of like an eyebrow shade. I mean, eyebrow. Instead of an eyeshadow shade because then it matches the highlighter and this highlighter is super bright and I love white highlighter instead of like a nude so I just pop that in my inner corner just like that and that's it for the eyeshadow then I will go in with a eyeliner this is the essence pencil eyeliner and I just put it on my waterline so it looks better when I put on my mascara or my fake eyelashes the next step after that is usually doing a line of liquid eyeliner and I just use the essence one as well the super fine eyeliner pen and then I will put on some fake eyelashes but I'm not gonna be doing that in this video because usually if you're starting off with makeup or you don't know how to do makeup that well yet eyelashes are really hard but i will link down below the video that i watched that i learned how to apply fake eyelashes so i'm just going to skip this step but usually this is where i would be applying them and the eyelashes i'm wearing right now that i've been using are the la colors eyelashes in 980 and they look like this but i'm not going to be wearing those today like i said so instead i will be doing mascara and this is the mascara I use the covergirl plumpify blast pro I don't know and I just apply this all over my eyelashes on the upper eyelashes and then after I'm all done mascara it's lips and I never ever 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 wear lipstick or a lip gloss unless it's like clear or pink or nude I just really don't like lip colors on me for some reason i used to when i was like 13 i'd be walking around with fucking red lipstick and shit but i don't do that anymore i hate lipstick on me so i just will reapply my lip balm and then after that usually i will go in with this lip gloss or some other clear lip gloss but this is the one i'm using right now and it's the essence shine wet looks lip gloss in literally clear and i just apply that on top of the lip balm and yeah, that's about it.